right to the top. But I started to spell banana, and I didn't know when to stop. So make sure you learn all your words at home this evening, all right? Yes, Now there's just time for a story before home. And today I've got a treat for you. Jack and the Beanstalk by Roald Dahl, and it's read by somebody rather special. Jack's mother said, we're stony broke. Go out and find some wealthy bloke who'll buy our cow. Just say she's sound and worth at least a hundred pound. But don't you dare to let him know that she's as old as Billy O. Jack led the old brown cow away and came back later in the day and said, oh, Mumsy dear, guess what your clever little boy has got? I got, I really don't know how, a super trading for our cow. The mother said, you little creep. Oh, I bet you sold her much too cheap. When Jack produced one lousy bean, his startled mother, turning green, leapt high up in the air and cried, I'm absolutely stupefied! You crazy boy! Do you really mean you sold our daisy for a bean? She snatched the bean, she yelled, you chump, and flung it on the rubbish dump. At 10 p.m. or thereabout, the little bean began to sprout. By morning, it had grown so tall, you couldn't see the top at all. Young Jack cried, Mum, admit it now, it's better than a rotten cow. The mother said, you lunatic, where are the beans that I can pick? There's not one bean. It's bare as bare. No, no, cried Jack. You look up there. Look very high. You'll behold, each single leaf is solid gold. By golly, kids. The boy was right. Now glistening in the morning light, the mother actually perceives a mass of lovely golden leaves. Don't stand and gape, you little clot. Get up there quick and grab the lot. Up, up he went, without a stop. But, just as he was near the top, a big, deep voice, a rumbling thing, that made the very heavens ring, shouted aloud, Say boy, man, man! I smell the blood of an English man! Jack was frightened, Jack was quick, and down he climbed in half a tick. Oh, Mum, he gasped, believe you me, there's something nasty up our tree. I saw him, Mum, my gizzard froze, a giant with a clever nose. He smelled me out, I swear it, Mum. He said he smelled an Englishman. The mother said, and well he might. I've told you every single night to take a bath. Jack answered, well, if you're so clean, why don't you climb the crazy bean? She hitched her skirts above her knee and disappeared right up the tree. Now, would the giant smell his mum? Jack listened to the vivo bum. And then, from somewhere high above the ground, there came a frightful crunching sound. By Christopher, Jack cried, by gum. The giant's eaten up my mum. He smelled her out. She's in his belly. I had a hunch that she was smelly. He murmured softly, golly gosh, I guess I'll have to take a wash if I'm going to climb this tree without the giant smelling me. In fact, a bath's my only hope. He crushed indoors and grabbed the soap. He scrubbed his body everywhere. He even washed and rinsed his hair. He his teeth and blew his nose. He went out smelling like a rose. Once more he climbed the mighty beam. The giant sat there, gross, obscene, muttering loud, Fee, fi, fo, fa. Right now I can't smell anyone. Jack waited till the giant slept. Out along the boughs he crept and gathered so much gold, I swear. He was an instant millionaire. A bath, he said, does seem to pay. I'm going to have one every day. <laughs> Now he solved his problems, didn't he? Wow, bam, it's 